I'm feeling it. I'm digging it. I did put on a wig. Sometimes it come with their crew what it do what it do what it do in the Lou ice grill country grandma <laughs> it has been so long since y'all have seen my beautiful face i know i know i know still looking beautiful mm-hmm i'm looking a little yeah but anyway what is up happy new year happy new year I hope that everybody's new year is off to an amazing start because mine is. I have so much. Y'all, I'm just so excited. I I'm not even gonna gonna like spill it all at once because your girl is back. Just know that. I'm back and I'm better. I want you bad as ever. Don't let me just let up. I want to give all right don't look at my hair because it's looking crazy <laughs> but ooh, is my face looking big already is my face like is my nose looking fat okay anyway then don't look too much of my hair right now either because we just get ready to be doing a lot okay so right now it is January 6th fo 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 look at that Basically, I am getting ready to be doing a whole bunch of things. I'm getting ready to just kind of like unwind, uh, get a lot of things together in the house, take the Christmas decorations down, put some stuff together. I am making some cinnamon toast. Cinnamon toast, scared of it. I'm making some cinnamon rolls right now. I'm cooking Nazir his lunch. Well, it was supposed to be lunch, but I guess it's kind of like lunch last dinner since it's this time right now. But anyway, he be eating a lot. <laughs> If you all have sons, do y'all, do they be eating up the whole house? Because he be eating and still be like, mommy, I'm still hungry. Baby, what? What do you mean you're still hungry? How? But anyway, welcome back to the channel, you all. I'm back vlogging. Yes, I sure am. I'm excited. And I just can't wait to show you all everything that is going on in my life anyway i love y'all so much i'm so excited for 2024 this is an amazing year this is going to be an amazing year i just i just can feel it i can smell it i can smell amazingness <laughs> i made that word up just seeping through this whole year so i'm excited but uh what else do i have to do i'm being so so committed, so, so, so committed and faithful to myself and my goals. I bought my planner. I already filled it out for the month of January. I did it on December 31st, whole month of January, filled out, ready to go. We're not playing no games, okay? We taking everything to the next level. Business, brands, law school. I'm getting ready to be a lawyer. I am a new mommy. I'm getting ready to be a mommy to two, like, I'm getting ready to be a wife. It's just so many things I have to let you all in on, okay? So, so without further ado, let's just get into the vlog. It's going to be a lot going on. And I am back faithfully posting my content. Whole schedule, everything that I say I'm going to do, I'm doing. Like, non-negotiable. Whatever I wrote down on that planner for every day, for every month, for the month, it's going to be done. Guaranteed. No questions asked, no excuses. So... I'm getting ready to get into a uh, check-in on this stuff and then we'll get into all the rest of the stuff that's going to be going on on the vlog. I don't even understand how my camera battery is showing that it's dead because I literally have not picked up this camera for months. Months. So why is the battery dead? How is it dead already? Make it make sense. But it's okay. I don't think I did my intro. Well, let's do it now. What it do, Anne Marie Crew? Hi, everyone.
everyone welcome back to my channel if you are new to the channel make sure you hit the subscribe button if you've been here rocking with me welcome back before we get into today's video make sure you give this video a big thumbs up leave a comment down below make sure you turn on your post notifications so that you get notified every time your girl posts a new video make sure you also go follow me on all my social media and my retails on literally every single social media platform except twitter i don't have twitter i don't be tweeting but yeah that's all i don't have so facebook instagram tiktok youtube your girl amory tells on all of it there's so much in store and yeah let's just go all right all right so nazir are you eating your food why not it is a life life chicken nuggets mm. well Nas is not technically eating his lunch slash dinner because he's waiting on his nuggets. Um, there are those good old cinnamon rolls. Mm, mm, mm. Can't wait to eat them. About to be busting. And here's his chicken nuggets. Y'all don't ask why I just have this stuff cooking in, in the microwave. I mean in the oven on foil and not on no pans because I can do what I want. You do what you want when you pop in. Okay? All right. So I'm back. And <laughs> you know I'm big. Why have I already eaten three of these cinnamon rolls? Like really be, be for real. And they are busting. They're so good. I'm getting ready to eat another one right now. Let's pull out, whip out the, the whip. I mean the icing. Mm, mm, mm. All right, let's. Let's eat a, a little cinnamon roll for a second before we get into what we get ready to do. Why that I look like that? I don't know. I think I need to clean it. I be cooking grits and stuff for breakfast. And it just be like popping everywhere and getting crazy. Alright, I'm getting ready to eat this. Hello. So, so, so good. See the, the ice and dripping. Ooh. <laughs> All right, you guys. So now I am clearly deep in thought, really up on my phone. What am I doing? Oh, I know what I was doing. I basically signed up for this little program, which I will tell you all more about once I actually get all the way into it. I was doing the training right here for it. So that's why I'm so deep into my phone and looking at what they have going on on there because I was listening to it. But I'm going to talk more about it. I don't really want to promote it <laughs> per se or suggest that you all do it until I actually go through and do it and see that it works. So that's what was going on right here. I'm listening to the training. <laughs> so I look so uninterested, but I promise I'm actually interested. I'm just really tuned in, focusing on what they're talking about while also looking through my phone going through the clips because i have to kind of like follow along throughout the training so that's what's going on right here so now it is time for me to switch gears i'm on my laptop now and if you can see these textbooks you probably can't really see many of them they're sitting on the side of the camera right there to my right but I'm now going through these textbooks and selling textbooks. So these are all law school textbooks that I previously had, whether it be from the previous semester, from the previous year, and it's even some textbooks that I've had since I was at Cumberland Law School as a law student. So yeah, that long ago. But I'm sort of a hoarder when it comes to books and school things. I have a lot of my college papers and notebooks and all of that and stuff. So I really like to keep all of my textbooks for the most part. I also just kind of feel like it's nostalgic so I can have them on my bookshelf behind me. So I love to have that filled up. But 
there is this website where you can sell back textbooks and all you have to do is put in the ISBN number you type in the ISBN number on the website and then they'll show you an estimate of how much money the textbook is worth for sell back so that is pretty much what I'm doing right here you all should already know I'm always looking for ways to make extra money all the time <laughs> so um, I'm going through a lot of these books because I have so many of them and I'm pretty much separating them by the ones that I'm actually seeing that I have an estimated sell back value versus the ones that are saying zero. Yes, some of them will not be able to be bought back. It doesn't tell you why. I think that it's probably just because the book may be too old. It may be a older version and there's probably been several new versions that have came out of the book since you trying to sell it back on this date or whatever so I think that's probably mainly what it is but even this brand new book right here that's still in the package it has the case book interactive things for you to use online and everything all the little supplemental resources you all guess how much it was worth for me to sell this book back zero dollars I can't sell it back so I have to keep it or I have to give it to someone but it's probably no good anymore because it's probably just not updated law so that's pretty much what's going on right here I'm just going through selling these books because I always need to find ways to make me some more income okay so this is a really good way for you all if you do have textbooks and it's not just law school textbooks you can sell any textbooks back to this website I think that you all should definitely check it out because I do make extra money when I have textbooks to sell on here and then of course if you don't want to sell your textbooks don't sell them give them away to somebody sell them to someone that you know is in need of the book but I mean this is also an easy way to just go about getting rid of textbooks that you no longer need so the website for you all to try out is Valor that's V-A-L-O-R-E and it's you're just gonna go to Valor.com and when you get there, literally, you just gonna, I'm hyped because, ooh, ooh, yeah, yeah, hype right there. Because that was obviously one that could be sold back <laughs> for some money. And it don't be little bits of money. I mean, it'd be hundreds of dollars. So for me so far, that's how it's been. And I've been doing this. I think this is probably like my fourth time selling back some textbooks over the past few years. So I think it's a good way to make extra money, but it's valor.com and you'll go on there and then you have options. You can also rent textbooks on here. You can buy textbooks on here and then you also can sell textbooks back. So you would obviously click on the sell back textbooks, a another sale, <laughs> and you would just enter that ISBN number. The ISBN number is located inside of the textbook. It's usually on the first or second page as soon as you open up the book and go through the first few pages. So it's very, very simple. It's a different price range for all the books. And of course, some of the books will be zero. So as you see, I have so many books. I'm going to get more books from my bookshelf from behind me to sell some more. So yeah, this is a thing. Don't ever say I don't give you all ways to make some extra money because I'm always looking for ways to make extra money. So I will always put y'all on as well. Head over to Valore.com, V-A-L-O-R-E. I will also include it in the description of the video. And go sell your textbooks back, okay? And then also, if you are in need of textbooks that are discounted, that will be cheaper than the books will be in your bookstore or online, for the most part, you can check them out too because they have plenty of textbooks and probably will have all the books that you need for your upcoming semester. All right, y'all. Okay, so I am finally taking down all of the Christmas decorations in the house. There was the main Christmas tree that we had up um, and other little decorations right there. <laughs> there are decorations, of course. I've taken all this stuff down and kind of just tried to move everything to one place so that it was easier to pack everything up. So that is all of that. 
this is everything that has been taken down and put away in the boxes and bags. Nazir also had a tree that I needed to take down as well. Don't, Don't right. do my oh, thing. Yeah, what? Today, Papa find me. Oh. And what is it? And because it's my Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch. Nintendo Switch. You and love it. Yes, and then I have to get Daddy Mario car, and then I have to get Mommy a princess car. Oh, thank you, big boy. And I have to, and will be your birthday. I'll get you presents. Thank what, you. What princesses? Oh, did you say? Your princesses. Do I love princesses? Yes. I do. What's going on with your bed and stuff? I was just, I was just sleeping right here. Got it. Hey guys, I'm back finally. Um, the night did not end so well for me. I actually started feeling really sick. Um, out of nowhere, which was actually pretty weird, but. I started feeling very sick last night and I finished all the Christmas stuff. So I took all the Christmas decorations and all that stuff down. I feel like the camera's not focused. Hold on. Is it? Y'all let me know. I don't know. I really can't even tell. But I started not feeling good. So I finished a lot of stuff. I got all of my assignments and stuff um reviewed for what i have to do for this upcoming first week of class and i got all my syllabus and stuff read reviewed saved all that so today i have a lot more things to do because i ended up going to bed i was going to do my hair i was going to do nazir's hair i was going that was it so i didn't get to do those things so i had to do them today so i'm getting ready to do my hair first now on here and then i'm cooking some breakfast i just finished taking nazir a bath and making him breakfast so he's good to go for a good bit of hours so i can get some stuff done and then i'm gonna cook some breakfast and then i'm gonna edit this video so i could post it today so um whatever else is recorded on this video later on or on this vlog later on in the day is gonna go on to next week's vlog because I need to edit the video. And then I have to do my readings and assignments for this first week of class. Because your girl is finally about to be done with law school, y'all. It's my last semester of law school forever. I'm never going to have to go to school again. So I'm just really excited. But anyway, I have a lot of stuff to do. I'm feeling better. I did make some tea. Like I made some throat coat. If y'all know about throat coat tea, it is it's something. I be when my throat start hurting and my that's what was going on last night. Like my throat was hurting really, really bad and I was really congested. Um and my head was hurting. So I uh, put two packs of that throat coat tea in there and I was out basically for the rest of the night. So uh, but I was waking up all throughout the night, throughout the morning, sweating and stuff. I don't know what was going on. I'm feeling a little I'm feeling a little better now, but I need to get all the way good because it's a long week ahead of me and I have a lot to do. So let's get into this hair. But let's do this hair. Hold on, I'm gonna set the camera up. So I'm getting ready to start back class. 
this week on Monday, Tuesday actually. So I'm not trying to do my hair. I just took some braids out not too long ago from our cruise. So I ordered this wig. The packaging is super cute. I'm definitely digging it. There's some nails, some press on nails, which I probably will actually put on. <laughs> I'm on the wave right now. My only thing be like, sometimes they just be too long for me. I really don't do long nails for real. So these don't look too long, but the last ones I had were like super long and they kept popping off and that's why I don't do long nails. But thank you, Julia Hair. This is cute. Shout out to the nails, false nail professional, one minute nail tip. Okay, period. Two wig caps, which I may or may not do a wig cap, just depending on how the wig fits on my hair. Elastic band, of course. This is a cute one, so yes. What's this? There's a lot of stuff in here, actually. Let's see what this is. I'm not sure what this is, but let's see. This, looks, this is giving a robe or something. Hold up. Okay. All right. I'm feeling Julia hair. Definitely gonna be shopping with them more. Okay, new robe, nice silk robe, it's red. I like this. Oh yeah, if you know me, you know what's crazy? I literally have another robe, the exact same color as this, but it's like a cotton one. I actually got it for um, when I had my son in the hospital and I had it. So this is cute. This is super, super cute. I'm feeling Julia hair and here's felt to go with it. Shout out to Julia hair. Hold up because I will say I've had some cute, you know, little packages with some hair orders that I've placed with other companies, but they never give me no robe. I'm feeling Julia. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. All right, let me put this up. Let's see what is hitting for. So I did just get a straight wig. So I haven't had straight hair in a little minute. I feel like I got 20 inch. Maybe I did 22, but I feel like I did 20. I have to go back and check to see for real, but oops. Here's the band, of course, the elastic band, which I really, really need. I know that this gonna get me right. We're not having to lay this wig down for real. I really am hoping that it's gonna be exactly what I saw online when I ordered it. I really hope so. Ooh, okay, for one, first and foremost, this hair is beautiful. I mean, it feels so good, human. Yeah, I'm loving it. I'm, I'm feeling it. I'm feeling you, Julia. Shout out to Julia. All right, so we got some packaging going on in here, of course. So let's just pull this off and see. What is tea, baby? All right, so I'm loving the bleach knots already. So there's nothing that needs to be done. I love that. Yes, love that, love that, love that. Bleach knots, if y'all can see, the knots are already bleached. So that's really amazing. And then of course we have our lace, which is already cut. I'm here for it, I am here for it. And then in the inside, I am back. The glueless wig is on. I did straighten it a little bit. Um, I just kind of like ran the flat iron over it. I did put on a wig cap under here. I didn't do any styling or anything to it. So I literally just ran the flat iron through it and that's it. But to be completely honest, I like it. I'm feeling it. Um, I did figure out how to put the elastic band around to make it, you know, tight enough to where it'll just be on here. I may tighten it up some more because if you can see, um, you, you know, you can see that right here, like that's it. This is, this is the wig. So I like it. I'm literally going to be flipping this wig off and on every day. And so that is it for Julia hair. I am really feeling it. I, I really like it. Like I, I really, really, really do. I feel like it is such great quality hair. The hair feels amazing. Come on with the 20 inch straight. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Glueless wig is real. This is a real thing. It really is glueless. I really just have it on my head. I didn't cut anything. I didn't do nothing. Like I, I literally didn't do anything but put this to lay down to, you know, just kind of lay this down at the top and that's it. Julia hair, 10 out of 10. I loved all the gifts that they included within the hair package. Super cute packaging. I like it. Like I, I really do. It was really easy to put this on and I know that it'll be very easy to style it as well. And I also love the pre-bleached knots. I also love, of course, you know, this is just it. I don't have anything laid down. I didn't make any like baby hairs or edges or anything like that. So it, that's how it looks. But literally y'all, this is an amazing wig. Look at this, hold on. Look at this. I can literally style this. I can style this however I wanna style it because the knots are bleached all around. Like it's, I love it. <laughs> this is definitely an actual glueless wig. I do not have to glue anything. Shout out to Julia Hair, period. Okay. Me and my baby, we excited for Julia Hair all 2024, all right? Because it be a lot to wigs put on and then they be coming off. And I'm just not really a fan of getting wigs installed for real. I've had like two wigs installed on my hair my whole life. And I just, that was my new little thing that I tried last year in 2023. And although I really liked how it looks and stuff, I don't really like the process. I don't like the constant lifting. I don't like it. And I don't like the glue. It definitely took my edges out. So this is just more protective as well. So yeah, that's it. I love y'all. I hope y'all enjoyed this part of the video. Now we're going to move on because I have a whole bunch of other things to do. And it is already 1.27. So uh, let's go. Y'all, I'm back. I'm about to open up my little new air fryer. I haven't had one for months. Because the other one stopped working. Oh. Don't look at me, y'all got this wig cap on. <laughs> Digging the new air fryer. It's digital. Alright, we done upgraded, period. Shout out to Chef Man. Yo! digital air fryer and I'm excited about it. But really shout out to my mama. <laughs> Thank you, sweet lady. Bye. We're moving on up. <laughs> we fancy now with the digital. Okay, period. Well, it gets almost one out of batteries. My phone dying? Yes. Okay, thank you. It's running out. Thank you. Now it's time to eat. I didn't even cook my breakfast, so I didn't eat breakfast. This is my first time eating today. Wait, you didn't eat breakfast like me? Mm -hmm. Yes, you did. I'm from Ethiopian food. I'm not talking to you now. You did. I'm not talking to you. You didn't eat? So I'm eating some Ethiopian food right now. Yes. Um, oh, super I'm just not really feeling good, so I'm trying to still push through and make this content, but I think I'm gonna end this video super because I need to edit it and post it today, and then I still have to do homework, and it's already two, so this is probably gonna be the end of the video. I don't want y'all to see me because I got my wig cap on. <laughs> so, I will see y'all later. Love you guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Tune in to the next one. Make sure you go follow me on all my social media, Anne Marie Tales. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay? Okay. Bye.